not what you think it is. Derek Bell. Derek Bell is a combination of a whole bunch of things. He's a child of God, he's a man, he's a son, a brother, an uncle, cousin, best friend, artist, lover, someone who really want to make a difference, you know, um, a teacher, someone who really want to make a difference in this world and doing it. I'm a strong believer that I can't hold my talent and my gift to myself. It's very important that I embrace it, share with other people, see other people grow, and hope that they can get back to the community. It's very important. Um, why art? I love art. Um, I've always been an artist as long as I've ever been taught to walk and talk. You know, uh, I remember being in kindergarten class and all the kids were like, wow, Derek, that's really cool. And uh, that's probably the first time I knew something was different. My artwork was different from, from the other kids, you know, which was cool. Um, but over the time, you know, I, I just started doing different things, you know. I, I'm, a lover of beautiful things, you know, I love color, I love um, people, I love capturing images and expressions of people, and um, it's important, I think art is very important because it's a language, it's a visual language um, that we can all kind of see it for ourselves and listen to it through music and, you know, see it through theater, you know, it's different variations of art. Um, that can be appreciated um, and you don't have to be perfect at it. That's the beautiful thing about it because it's your expression. Amen. So I dance. Um, the motivation behind dance was my love for it. You know, I love dancing. I love dancing, you know, get the groove on. You know, um, I love ballet. I love, I remember going to see Ivan Daly um, back in school and going to see the dance theater of Harlem, you know, on a field trip, you know, and it was just fascinating, especially to see people of color dancing, you know, to modern dance and ballet, you know, and so eloquently, you know, it was beautiful. It was a language of movement that I never even knew even existed for people of color. And I was just like, wow. It, it, it just traveled with me through life, you know, as far as like having appreciation for it. So, yeah, I wanted to do a light show about dance. And then, boom, I went to see the movie Lion. Lion is, I don't know if you have seen that movie. I've never read the book. I should read the book. Never read the book, but the movie is about a boy in India who was basically... separated from his family, you know, he um, got lost, traveled across the country and landed in an area where he didn't know anybody and he was taken and cap captivated and uh, captured and they, the system kind of molded him into a product, like a puppet, you know, to sell to people in the adoption process. It was really kind of heartbreaking because I was like, oh my God, this little boy um, is taken away. And um, he loved his mom, you know, he loved his big brother. His big brother loved him. And people, you know, took him into their family, which was great, you know, you, I can't not be mad or upset because he was able to go into 
um, be raised in a household that loved him really and supported him. But just the whole idea of just being taken away from your family and your family don't know where you are, you're lost, you're missing. Um, that's heartbreaking, you know, and I can only imagine my mom would probably have a fit <laughs> that that was to happen to me, you know, and that was a really touching story. Um, at the end of the story, he would he traveled back home, um, and his adopted parents supported him through that. Um, he went back home and um, met his mom again, so that was wonderful. So that story kind of was the starting point, you know, the, um, of what can I do with dance. It became something beautiful, but it became something with a conscious, you know, and I wanted, I had the idea of, okay, how can we tell this story through dance? It kind of, it's tricky, you know, a friend told me, Derek, that's an awesome idea because the adoption process is a, it's choreographed. I was like, dang, you're right. It is choreographed. It's the whole, um, it's layered, you know, as far as like um, the way they treated him in the movie. Um, how to eat with a, with a silver spoon, how to sit up in a chair, um, how to smile, and how to talk to people. That was all processed, manufactured to become a product. And I was like, it's a, it's, it's choreographed, you know, it's, it's an art to it. So let me tell this story through dance about adoption. And then something in my head was like, there's a lot of other issues going on. This is, this is like a trade. This is trafficking, human trafficking. You always hear about stories about like little girls and little boys that are like kind of sucked into this whole sex trafficking world where they're sold to other people um, to, to do services, you know, against their will, you know, and damn, that, that's not very human, you know, that's dehumanizing, you know, and it's not right, you know, it degrades our society and our human rights. So I was like, okay, let me do the show about dance, centered around the whole adoption, trafficking issues that are going on in India. And like last year, you know, I think it was, the, the number was, they had 100,000 100, people who were um, children who were identified as victims of the sex trafficking world. I was just like, oh my God, that's, really hard to, to handle, I mean, to just even think about it. Then I was telling the story to a friend of mine. She came to visit, uh, came to visit um, from Atlanta, Georgia, and we had dinner, you know, in the city, and she was like, you know, it's real big in Atlanta doing um, All-Star Weekend too, sex trafficking. I was like, what? And she went into details about how it's done. She's a social, social worker. I was just like, oh man, like, it's it, it becoming too much for me, you know, and then Oakland, I'm, I kept hearing things about Oakland being the kind of the hub for young girls of color, um, victims in this, world, um, in this, this whole trap world, it, it, it crazy. All of that to say this, the show became bigger than just me talking about my beautiful dancing. And I had to I had to do this show. You know, it's not common for an artist to do a show back to back. Um, but the inspiration came piercing through me so hard that I had to say something visually or it, I would have had, had kept it all balled up inside of me. And yeah, it's not cool. Um, I started getting my friend involved, you know, with a campaign on social media, Facebook, Instagram. I was like, I gotta get more people involved. I gotta get this not only to not only to you know 
promote my show, but just to get the message out about saving our girls, you know, it hits home for you as a teacher because, you know, I heard about it in, in my school and other schools, and I found out that one of my students was involved in this, and it did, it did something to me that I never thought it could do. You know, I was like, one of my kids, my students, my babies, you know, being sold in this world, I mean, in this sex trafficking BS. No, no, it's not gonna happen. Um, so, yeah, you got to dance. Not your typical dance, you know, and it's never gonna be a typical dance, you know, for us unless we do something about it. We need to talk to our legislators, legislators, um, and our, our communities, our churches. We need to talk to um, leaders and see how we can come up with some type of um, solution to stop these predators that are um, hurting our precious babies, our society, you know, and um, it's tough with us, definitely. My name is Kelly Pascal Hunter, and I am a gallery owner of Pascal Hunter Gallery located in Old Oakland, California. I'm excited um, about Derek Bell's new art exhibition titled The Dance. Um, it's a solo exhibition that I think this community is ready for. And I am Carlin R. Williams. I am the CEO and founder of Different Better Lifestyle Designs. I'm a life coach, lifestyle coach, um, co-hosting The Dance with Kelly and the gallery. Um, I too am excited. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection of of modern art that that we'll talk about soon. But it's it's a very breathtaking group of collection of art. So I met Derek um, some, a few months back, and I just felt like our energy was a perfect match for each other in terms of what I'd like. Um, as a gallery owner, what type of artwork I'd like represented in this space. Um, I was immediately attracted to his use of color. Um, and what he just said through his art um, spoke volumes. And um, we began talking about this exhibition, um, the dance, and, and the purpose behind this new body of work and why it should be introduced to the world. And I actually shared with Derek that um, not only am I passionate about work um, around um, eradicating, for lack of a better word, um, commercial sexual exploitation, but I'm also a, mem a mentor um, with an organization called Missy here in Oakland. And their purpose is to support girls that have survived human trafficking. Um, recently, I joined their board of directors, and I feel like it's my obligation to do more than just mentor these girls. Um, this is an organization celebrating its 10th anniversary um, this year. Um, ironically, at the same time, we're, we're unveiling this, again, this beautiful body of work um, that tells a story about um, pain, but love and survival. And, and that's what Missy is to me. It's this organization that provides these girls that have gone through pain and rejection and exploitation and, you know, um, just an array, I mean, I could go down the laundry list of experiences that they've had. Um, and again, this new show speaks for them. Um, it, sh it shows survival. It shows, um, you know, that you can overcome, um, you know, something so, you know, dark and, 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 and just sad and really blossom into something and become something other than what you've always been told you couldn't. Um, so I'm just, I'm really excited. I mean, I get chills talking about it. I'm um, really excited about um, being um, the gallery that will show this work to the world. Um, you know, I really think that this work is going to um, have an impact on people outside of the Bay Area. I think that, you know, um, the reaction that we've gotten so far about this show has just been, it, it, it has made me teary-eyed at times, you know, um, because 
you know, you don't realize how many other people are so passionate about this type of work. Um, what I mean by that is being an advocate for girls that have survived human trafficking. Um, you start talking to people and everybody is just like, I'm there, I'm on it, I want to support, how can I do, you know, what I need to do? Um, and, you know, it's really, it's just been amazing, the, the support and the love around the show. So I'm excited and looking forward to our um, July 7th opening reception. Um, I became involved, well, I became, I'm friends with Derek. Derek is a friend of mine. Derek has also become a client of mine um, with Different Better. And the point of view that he has as an artist is... I don't know that there's one word to describe it. The first word that came to my mind is phenomenal because you have, with this, with this body of work, you have the dance and it's exactly what it is because we're talking about human trafficking of young women. You have the beauty of what dance represents. You have the color, you have the lines, <clears throat> excuse me. And then behind it, you have this idea that this beautiful thing is being damaged in some way and the way that's captured in the artwork is breathtaking and for me I didn't realize human trafficking was so prevalent in the, in this country I started doing research on it and there are pages and pages of information about human trafficking in the United States and it's it just my mouth just constantly stays open when I hear about it um, and for an organization like Missy to be a part of it um, is kind of the cherry on top of, of everything because again, you have, you'll see it. You, you have the, the lines, the color, the dance and the subject matter juxtaposed in all of this, this beauty. Um, this versus the first body of work from his show last year, totally different. Um, but again, his point of view He's looking at the world from the eyes of a man of color, a black man, and the things that we go through. And I don't know that they say that the picture is worth a thousand words. And when you see Derek's art, you're literally trying to find all of those words. Um, and being a former dancer and having artists in my family and meeting Derek and meeting Kelly and again the energies just collide all over the place you don't you don't um, you don't come across that often um, I've, I've always believed in Derek as an artist I didn't know how fantastic of an artist was what he was when we met so to be able to support this to co-host the, sh the show um, and to help him through this phase of life that he's in as a client of mine is absolutely amazing um, and I can't even take credit for it I'm just kind of a vessel helping him through it but again it's it's something that I'm very proud to be a part of um, this show is going to open a lot of doors I think it'll open a lot of doors for all of us but it'll get a message out there that I don't believe that people really yeah. know about I've talked to people about coming to the show and they don't they're dumbfounded like I am about it human trafficking in this country because you see it sensationalized through the media people don't really talk about it going on in the world in general but um, it's real it's real and to have it to have it presented in this way it's a, pal a palatable way excuse me but it is also a very profound and strong statement that it is going on um, and I could go on and on and talk about the language that you can actually see when you look at the pieces. Um, but I will say that you're going to have a point of view when you see it. You're, you're definitely going to have a point of view when you see it. Yeah, I, I would like to add too that I think that um, what's interesting for me is that the pieces aren't even titled yet. And you can look at that piece and it hits you so hard mm -hmm. and you're like, I know what that picture I know what yeah. that painting yeah. um, is conveying I know what that painting is saying I, I can feel what's going on here yeah you know so it's again it's a show that um, it'll speak for itself yes it'll definitely speak for itself definitely. speak for itself so some of the proceeds from my show is going to go to an organization by the name of Missy Missy stands for 
um, motivating, inspiring, supporting, and servicing exploited, um, sexually exploited youth. Um, this organization has been around for 10 years, um, and they help the youth um, kind of get back on their feet to try to find a way out of a bad situation. And they pull their heart and their resources and um, funding into the particular organization. Um, kind of did to me this this whole crazy thing because um, with me being a teacher, I have had I have had um, some students that kind of got caught in the whole sex trafficking phenomenon. Unfortunately. Um, it don't really hit you until it affects somebody that you know. And when I found out, I was kind of devastated. I was like, not, not that person, you know. And it's like, you never want anything to happen to, to your kid, to anybody that had to do with exploiting them for profit and um, power. And that's just crazy. It's crazy. Um, you know, Oakland is like the number one hub for like um, young girls between the ages of eight and 14 uh, to get kind of, um, you know, trapped in this world. And that's bananas, you know, being that young and having something taken away from you, you know, and just for some type of greed, you know, power. Other than that, you know, it's, uh, being trapped in this whole thing, when I take a look at these streets, you know, it, it, it's crazy because it's so undercover. You know, a lot of people don't know who is who or what they're doing. And it, 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 it's a call for help, you know, and it needs to be stopped.